That's what we know. That's what the hood is known for. And if your imagination deep enough, this right here used to be a dirt hill, like I said earlier. This the whole dirty hood. See this right here? Look at over here. Huh? Look. This wall. See all this? Yeah. All of this shit wasn't right was here. Exactly. All this shit was a street. It was a street that go all the way down. This wall's work, right? This wall's work. 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 So what I'm saying? It's the block. You know what I'm saying? Man, it's late. So people all in this So like you said, it was two way, two way in, right? <laughs> that street back there Colvis, and this one. Corvus Avenue uh -huh. and Wadsworth. Okay. We got other two blocks over there and all that, but we really be right here. You know what I'm saying? So it's like two ways in, two ways out. One way out. <laughs> 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 you know, ain't no way out. Oh shit. Yeah, this shit right here, bro. This shit is memories right here. You know what I mean? It's real exclusive, man. A lot of people scared to come over here. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? As they should, though. You know what I mean? But yeah, Jinx, Jinx didn't think I was pulling back up. Hey, man, they ain't know what's happening. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Bitch, I'm, I'm coming. I'm coming, nigga. I'm coming. coming. I'm coming. You know I mean? Yes, sir. Saying the real bought their trenches though, you feel what I'm saying? Really got this motherfucker like a swamp now. Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? All this shit new, man. You know what I'm saying? See, they still got the gate up because they still, you know, they still working or whatnot. That lake right there, man, that was a famous little. We used to go fishing in the lake and shit. Swimming you know that bitch. Where nah, y'all niggas ain't swimming that lake, dude. Y'all niggas did. swimming that bitch. Nigga, I'm talking about 90s. Yeah, yeah. We was swimming in that bitch. Jumping <laughs> off the rock into that bitch. Hell no. Nah. Don't go for it. See, we gonna get your ass. <laughs> oh, God. But a lot of motherfuckers, there's been a lot of floating bodies in that motherfucker, hey, too, that's though. The yeah. That's the word. That's the word. That's the word. Allegedly. Yeah, I allegedly. One. One. I seen one. I seen a couple. I seen, I seen, I seen the police put somebody out. Now they re the bridge. Oh, they redid the bridge? Yeah, Mafia. Y'all see it, man. We gotta get this tree right this here. used to be the infamous Eugene Village. See, this tree right here, we used to have mad fun on this tree right here, bro. It was a dirt hill, and we used to come up the dirt hill right here. Yeah. And then we used to be hiding this shit and playing all up in this. Because we used to have this game called the bike game, too. I remember, I remember the bike game. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. The bike game. What's the bike game? Right, so the bike game consists of, we from the projects type shit. So all Everybody the homies didn't have, didn't have a bike, bike blood. All the homies didn't have a bike. So the homies who had a bike, how, how we, you know, play for fun and shit. And whoever bike it was, they riding the bike. The homies, like, tag with a bike, basically. Like, nigga, we catch you on a bike. Yeah. You got to get up, blood. It's my bike right now. It's my bike right now, blood. So what if the so what if the nigga can't tag you back? It's, it's over with you. You gotta go it's home. Damn. The, yeah, it's, yeah, on the gang. So, yeah. yeah we, nigga, used to mamas used to be hot, huh? Yeah, the motherfucker. Gigi Dino. Oh, good. I think I watched it. Got him that mongoose. <laughs> my shit used to always get to it. We want my shit. Oh shit. On the hood. I'm ready to fight. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> but now that we used to have hella fun over here, you feel know what I'm saying? You know, we we humans too. Don't think it's because niggas from a gang or whatever. Like niggas is just ignorant and all. Like nah, bro. You know what I'm saying? We good peoples over here. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We, you know, we been through a lot, bro. You know what I'm saying? But we just trying to keep pushing. That's why, like I said, you feel me? Shit, we got brands, we got shit that we trying to own now, so nobody can't take shit from us. Let me ask y'all this, bro. As a collective, what's the what's the biggest mis misconception about LA games? Everything is super organized. No, so, no. Everything not super organized. The rules, the rules, the rules, the rules, the rules that niggas say they go by and all that. Yeah. Yeah, that shit don't be structurally right. Yeah. yeah. So, how many of y'all remember learning to flip down this hill right here? On roads. <laughs> I never knew how to flip. The homies yeah, I can't like flip. that was an Olympic. Yeah, the only me. time I used to flip when we had the dirty mattresses in the blue. Dirty mattresses in the blue. Oh, another one. Everybody wear and red. Every, or everybody wear blue. Uh -huh. All right. You see, the two niggas wear red on. But no, nine times out of ten, like when I was in Detroit, they asked me like. Y'all all wear red, don't y'all? I'm like, nah. And they were like, you lying. And then I had to show them a video of a, a regular day in the hood. Like, mm -hmm. We just, certain niggas dressed. He got on blue, but he in five room. He got on black. I got on black. He got on red and black. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. everybody, you really got to know, like, where you at and, and who you with. Because really, really, 
it right in I guess in today's game. That's why I said everything not organized because the hood be so big you don't even know all your homies sometimes. That's yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. So if you ain't coming to missions and you ain't coming to functions, sometimes you would get forgot about. Yeah. <laughs> so I ain't right here, bro. Or if you ain't if you ain't popular, like. It's where we used to go fishing. Like that, used to go it fishing. still look like the egg. Yeah, right. 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 <laughs> so was was, I, was these lakes here too? This yeah, this lake always been here. Damn, yeah. so this lake was here in this lake? Yeah. yeah. Damn, all bro. This, all of this shit is original. The stream right here. This the stream that. So to keep it low key, bro. Even though this was the projects, this was really prime real estate. Yeah, it was like yeah, for sure. That's why I got yeah. this part. That's why it got gentrified. That's why they took it back. They yeah. like, uh uh. That's why they, they, they ain't know. Yeah, they didn't know. We had know. our own world. Niggas oh, couldn't do hood. nothing in the village. Like, literally, the village, we was our own world, bro. We controlled this whole environment. You dig what I'm saying? So, yeah, yeah they had to do something about that. Damn, bro. Like, we used to go fishing right here. Okay. I like, used to be able to fish all of us. What kind of fish you used to catch? Well, a little goldfish, yeah, yeah. catfish, little yeah. shit like that. You know? yeah. I wasn't a big time fisher, you know. Yeah. yeah this part, though, no, this is crazy, though. You get your ass robbed in this part. Come on, God. This was a deadly park right here. Man. So this park still existed? Yeah, yeah this was a park. You don't want to be in this park. Yeah. yeah, because the village towns is right inside of it. So it's like, you know, people were scared off. There was no. Robbing, robbing people, people was getting robbed allegedly, you know? Allegedly, all that. And then look, this is how you know this is new shit. Oh, they got the cameras they got the up cameras here. Now in the, hood. the CCTVs. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The they got shit. cameras and shit in the hood. And they this, made this shit. Hey, but look, though. This bridge is really legendary. legendary because I used to go to school. My elementary school was over here across the bridge. Man, they got motherfucking ducks and so all the homies. Drop the GI Joe the parachute on the hood. They be like, hey, the state, the state, the state gonna rule you raise everything right here. It was different though. Now this shit more player though. We used At to first go. It was wood. Hey, remember we used to go on them rocks like this? Hump on the hood. Hey, and then we used to play on the rocks like this. This used to be like a little river. Water used to really come down like. They used to really be up in this dirty ass water. I ain't never been a turtle. That motherfucking turtle, dog. They got turtles now? Yeah, yeah. They got turtles now, blood in the hood. Oh, Rose. Yeah, that's crazy. 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 Hey, but yeah, I used to go across this bridge because you see the village is over there, right? So yeah. Early in the morning, all the kids who went to Hunt 22nd that lived on Wadsworth, we used to all mount up and walk to school together. You know what I'm saying? We used to cross this bridge every day. You know what I'm saying? And go to school and shit, bro. Like that shit was. So what's the ma what's the main three schools? The elementary, middle, and the high. Got second, second, McKinley, McNair. McNair. Okay. Vanguard. Vanguard is the high school. That's middle. Okay. Centennial is the high school. Okay. Okay. Centennial is our high school. So Centennial is the infamous school, basically, where they say if you didn't go Centennial, you you ain't no real power rule. Yeah. Or no, not, not saying that. Not if you don't know about Centennial, if you ain't been around, right. if you ain't been in this area, you know the real power. It's like you know? it's like Compton High. If you yeah. ain't a crib, you ain't going to Compton yeah, High. Yeah, exactly. If you if you ain't a power, you ain't going to uh, oh. to uh, Centennial. If you ain't a blood, if you're East Coast or some shit like that, you ain't going to Fremont. Gotcha. Like in certain areas, yeah, that's just the power. You gonna go to school. Jordan? You okay. gonna go to Jordan? It's, they got their own school. You gonna go to Jordan? You gonna go to Hartham, Luzinga? You gonna go to shit like that if you majority of a crib. If you're yeah, a blood, so. you gonna go to Centennial or Fremont. Okay. Centennial Dorsey. really a pop. Oh, Dorsey, okay. Dorsey, Fremont, Centennial. Oh, Dorsey. Probably like the predominant blood schools, really. Okay, okay. Cause I've seen a lot of niggas get called out for that. Yeah. Niggas say, oh man, nigga, we ain't see you at Centennial. Yeah, I probably ain't right. seen any ass around here. Come on, Paul. Probably ain't never seen it. I ain't go mad. I was mad. I, I was mad I didn't go to Centennial. You my mama didn't how the hood was. Certain niggas can go to the tent because the mom's working Clovis. Yeah. That's the way our hood Clovis. The way our hood set up, Clovis is going to be Compton District. Exactly. So when you get over, it's going to be LA. Why? You feel me? Right. Okay. That's crazy. When we leave on 22nd, we're going to Gompers. We're going to Gompers. That's where the Crips at. You feel me? That's Crip So you're going to Gompers where the Crips at? Yeah. You're going to lock grandma's addresses that stayed in Compton just to go to one of them yeah, so I went to Gumbers. So hold on, hold on. So, so we, so we, so the people can uh, understand this more. You can stay in the village, uh -huh. but depending on what side you stay on, yep. you're gonna be in LA or Compton. You're gonna be Ooh, for they, okay. for they schools. For the schools, schools because of the zip codes. Okay. USDA and LA Unified, LA Unified School District and Compton Unified School District. Okay. So that was two different. Yeah, because right here, look, yeah. look about this. Right here on back, this is gonna be considered yeah, uh, the more of 
LA. LA walks, you feel me? This is this side. Yeah, this side. Yeah, yeah. Okay. This side. But on that side, that's on, that side, on Clovis. Clovis yeah. That's coming. Yeah. That's bombing. Exactly. Okay. okay. You feel me? Close okay. the venture. Okay. Exactly. Then you gonna go play with 120th? Yeah. Like all that shit is just crazy, bro. How they just separated yeah, that shit. Yeah. Yeah. So shit can get real tricky with with, with the school shit. Right here. Kitchen crib. In the back of us right there. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's right here. Okay. That's what used to be the field of park talk No towns. No towns us. Kitchens, yep. Yeah. The mother, no, no father. You know what I'm saying? My daddy from, from the niggas in Lawrence, from the projects. My mama from Eugene Village, you feel me? So, you know what I'm saying? They won together. But I was just in the hood with the homies. Like, having the homies around and shit like that kind of made up for the absence, you know what I'm saying? A little bit. But, you know what I mean? Low key, I had a little bit more than some of the homies. But we all didn't have shit. You feel what I'm saying? Niggas just try to do constructive things to really balance. The, the environment that I'm in, cause niggas is really products of their environment. So it's like, me personally, I just try to do other things. And that's why I got into the, the rapping shit early and little different shit early. So, you know what I mean? I could be, cause I knew I was gonna have auto time. Like bro, in my hood, my homies and shit, bro, we had some shit called boot camp. Like niggas was socking on us since we was eight years old type shit. They knew, we kind of knew early on that we was gonna be from this shit. You dig what I'm saying? So, yeah. yeah, that's like, that's just how I see it. I got a question though, homie. Do you think if you would have grew up in a two-parent uh, household, shit would have turned out different? I don't know, man. I've been in the hood. Yeah, and I've been <laughs> in the hood, bro. Yeah. <laughs> it don't matter. I don't know. Yeah. 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 It's all your choices, really. Yeah, also it's on the individual. It's on the individual choices. Because there's a lot of niggas who didn't have no parents that, that shit kept a straight and narrow. I mean, yeah, I had right. one parent. They either had a doctor. People's and, and you know, mm -hmm. it's really be your choices. You feel me? Yeah. Like he said, some niggas was already getting pushed into that shit. We whether we knew it or not, like yeah. niggas was already training us to be representing shit. Niggas in elementary, like you said, talking about village town. I was brainwashed. Feel me? So it was already. That nigga said I was brainwashed. Yeah, like, I wasn't even gang banging, and the homies was like, I was at going 122nd. They like, yo, you gonna be a gang banger? Oh, I'm like, I don't know, like, nigga, why you gonna just put this on on me? They like, cause you say blood already. I was already like. First grade already blood in with the I moved out the hood and went to watch. My first fade was because I put a VTP on the folder from a nigga from Grape, uh Ray Shot or some shit. My first fade was with, with Raymond and Ray Shot from Grape. And I put VTP on the folder and I had to catch a fade. That was my first time when I knew like I was in third grade. I'm like, oh yeah, this game banging. Like cause at first it was just like I was over here just blooding and nothing happened. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. My same environment, but when I moved to watch. That's when I like became a savage. Like that's when everybody outside the hood be like, "Oh, that nigga known for fading." I like, I just, I had, I had an advantage of growing up fast. Like I was the oldest brother out of eight. You feel me? So I, I, I'm the first for every goddamn thing. So like, I, I was the first one to experience like, of what game banging was like outside of the hood. And when I came to the hood, I was just like already turned. So I was like, in there. probably a bad influence on the homies because I was already had anger and shit built up because niggas already jumping me and shit. Yeah. So I was I was on another level. Why Why do y'all think the fade culture is so big in L.A.? Fade. Yeah, because a lot. Of, I just think about it. Like other cities, especially you know, like other cities away from L.A. Like. The 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 Atlanta's, the Miami's, the you know all the New Yorks niggas nigga, yeah niggas, niggas ain't fighting no more. Really but in L A, like fighting is yeah. still big. In L A, you only fight who you know really talking like, shit. Like, in yeah. 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 Don't think you just finna fight another nigga from another hood. Like nah, you uh, gonna yeah. fight who you you know yo yo. It's, it's, really like, it's like gorillas. It's like a jungle. Yeah. Yeah. Like the hardest gorilla is gonna lead the pack. So, the, the, the toughest wolf is gonna lead the pack, and niggas gonna follow the wolf that lead the pack. Period. It's like, really that fake shit. Really, it. Like, see, you really, with this shit, yeah. we have some shit going one movement. Niggas ain't fading with each other. Like, it's more like. Right. No, we go against the big homies all together. Yeah. The, they come against us all together. That's how we were like, then they're raised. Like, the older but cats. That, but the fading, the fading culture started back in the old days when, yeah. before shooting came exactly. involved, people would used to just meet up and just. And I think they and, did and that, fight though. because. And catch, that's what you should just fight, you know, with the, you know, for their territory, or whatever. And I know? think they did that shit too, because you gotta understand the people who started game banging Crips and all that, they was young niggas. Yeah, I'm on guard. They was that's young niggas. The Raymond Washington, that's these niggas, they was young. So they out here fighting. 
You dig what I'm saying? That's so every I, generation. I that's they used it, to meet up you know, and meet up in parks yeah, and meet up I, in, I in, like in that open that areas and fight. So it, it was the culture, but then yeah. it, it lost its way because right. gunplay right. is too much right. start gunplay. I think yeah. that gunplay and blood get shed. It's still like that because every generation got to go through that phase when you ain't got no guns. Like when you when you in junior high, high school. Like I was like I said, I was game banging in elementary all the way up. Like not really gambling, I was just outside. And when I say I'm from Bessies, I'm from this area, I'm from Magic Johnson Park. But the key thing, that's what they was on back in the 90s. Like, I don't know, they, they were probably but no, game the, in the, the key thing why they faded, that why they faded is the, uh, 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 we don't want no busters around us. We don't uh, want no, exactly. you know, we want to make everybody around us tough. You know I mean? Still right. so, yeah, yeah. so when we go out somewhere as a unit, they gonna move yeah. accordingly. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you know you ain't gonna tuck your tail. tail. You know yeah. yeah. nigga ain't gonna tuck his tail. They gonna already know about you know That's getting down. Now, now you brought up another good question, homie. Now, let's say it's somebody from y'all section. What if they get caught off for a fade, but they turn it down? That's a DP. Yeah, that's a bust. Now, fuck that, you getting DP. Yeah, DP, DP you probably get kicked off the hood and everything. You know? like, this one dude, this one dude, we just had the DP nigga, remember? <laughs> remember when they, the big homies called us, like, that nigga was uh, in Athens, he, they just oh, yeah, the hood. Yeah. So they, like, yeah, uh, older niggas that's... that shit no more. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the older cats calling us, like, hey, this little nigga just turned down the phase, so now we got to get the niggas under it. Like I said, it's generations of this shit. This generation, they more, like, they young, so... We have to go get the younger cats to go get down with him and shit like that. we like older, we the older generation. So every generation, like I said, it's, it's a rank. It's a rank, it's a chain of command. So they, the big homies called us, we called the little homies and then we made them like handle their issue. Cause like, we really don't, one look bad, we all look bad. Facts. You, you get what I'm be saying? Somebody, you better be tough. You want yeah. to have a name for That's a good, that's a good point. That's a good point you brought, bro. Cause he could be, he could be at the bottom of the chain, but he representing your, your hood. Yeah. So now you, you on a level, bad. so you stand so, together is all one. Yeah, Ain't exactly. no low level. You with us? You feel exactly. Me? So after Ain't that, he no got his shit league. together. He been a one ever since. So sometimes like, just like let them know, like man, call us. Like nigga, like I don't care if you got to get down in that situation. Now, if anybody got no burners on you. Then you got you got to catch your fade. And I'll, then they call you out. You got to run your fade. Shit, I'll be feeling like gang banging now, like how it is now. And I ain't go a lot. Like I also talk to my other people about this shit. Like that shit more about your brand now. You feel me? Like how the shit is. It ain't really about your letters of your hood no more. It's like the the big the, the organization inside of your hood. You feel me? Like that's what I'm saying. Niggas getting hip to different shit. Like say for instance, you got a. We got Eugene Records over here. You feel me? They got Rosecrans over there. You feel me? Whatever the case may be. That that's that's that that's the shit that's. Branding the hoods now, you feel me? Like, yeah. Even it's bringing hoods together. Bring, yes, and then yeah, like that too. And it's bringing hoods together. I usually don't fuck around. Like like you know, what I'm saying it's still up in the city. Like it still be smoke, but that that business shit mm -hmm. is, is is bringing a lot of shit more connected inside. Yeah. Right. That's yeah. That's so that's what I'm saying. Changing the mind. 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 If it's smoking the street, it's because some other shit, you feel me? Yeah. Because majority of the niggas is yeah. right, right. It's I on the that, same like, path. The most gangster shit I did was give back to the community. Say it, say it one more time. You know I mean? The most gangster shit I did was give back to right. the community. One day I was getting into it with one of these dudes, and uh, this lady came back, like, gave me a plate, and she was like, why you getting into it with him? You don't do nothing for the community. And then that's when I realized, like, damn, even people outside fuck the game, but the community see what, what I'm doing. So it was like, it's right. bigger than, like, fuck. I, it, the money don't even matter no more. It's like I'm doing something for the for the greater good. You get what I'm saying? And like people respecting it. So like that's why I was like I, I like I love to see people wearing my shit. And like it give me a different outlook. Like keep me creating, keep me creative. Right. Yeah, yeah, we definitely give back shit. We didn't have all kind of shit. Drive, toy yeah. drive and that's Christmas shit. So all when the next time y'all gonna have something? I got I got to beat for up. Show Christmas. Hey man, we we, we got we have toys events coming up, man. Toys giveaway. We are uh, gonna have another toy drive with Wealth is Next and all the brand co uh, clothing companies we got in the hood. Okay. When, when Christmas time come, then we got some shit uh, popping next month too, November. You feel me? Uh, you know what I'm saying? I got my show. You know what I'm saying? We got artists. Uh, you know what I'm saying? He gonna rock, perform. You feel what I'm saying? Oh, nigga, you ain't telling you rap. Yeah, he oh, rap. Hey, I told you, 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 you rap. Hey, what the fuck you do, man? Hey, November, November 13th, Saturday, November 13th. You feel what I'm saying? Young Jinx and Friends. November 13th. November 13th. Young okay. Jinx and Friends. You feel me? Live in concert. We got D3 from 400. The Baby Stone Gorillas. We got, oh, you got uh, my little niggas there? Yeah, we got Jakai in the building. You know what I'm saying? We got Lil Scotty P's. We got Welcome is Next. We got TGF5. We got. Everybody. Oh, that shit gonna be jumping. Yeah. yeah. man, we got a lot of shit. Yeah. 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 Y
ugly.